The Hague for Christoph. Hello. The Hague. All right, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on True Talk. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. What do we no, have? No, 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 it's fine. It, it's fine, Mike. I, I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, as you announced so melodramatically to the world, do you think because you batted your eyes at Truman once, flirted with him, stole a few minutes of airtime with him to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, that you know him? that you know what's right for him. Oh. You really think you're in a position to judge him? What right do you have to take a baby and, and, and turn his life into some kind of mockery? Don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman the chance to lead a normal life. The world, the place you live in, is the sick place. Sea Haven is the way the world should be. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. He could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition, if he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way we could prevent him. I think what distresses you, really, caller, is that ultimately, Truman prefers his cell, as you call it. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong. You're so wrong, and he'll prove you wrong. Well, aside from uh, heated comments of a very vocal minority, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Yes, for Truman and for the viewing public. Well, Christoph, I can't thank you enough for giving so generously of your time tonight. I think it's safe to say that now that this crisis is behind us and that Truman is back to his old self, we can look forward to some exciting new developments. Well... Mike, the big news is that Merrill will be leaving Truman in an upcoming episode. And a new romantic interest will be introduced. Uh-huh. I'm determined the television's first on-air conception will still take place. Well, another television milestone straight ahead. You heard it here first. It has been a singular honor and a pleasure, sir. Christoph, thank you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>